Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tasso and today we're going to do a quick uh, tutorial on how to draw some train tracks to use in an infographic or however you like. Um, this is uh, one step to understanding how the brushes palette uh, works. So you can create anything um, and follow a freeform line and um, or a um, segment uh, that you want to build out this train track uh, as you can see i'll go into illustrator um, as you can see i've outlined um, all these components and i can color them i can bring them into indesign create the whole um, infographic okay so let's get started um, so i've had a bit of a head start here uh, i've added two sleepers and the train tracks um, the, the idea here is that, um, you know, when you draw these, when you copy and paste them, um, it will create, um, it will create um, a segment that, you know, the spaces are even. So, so let's um, get it to this stage. So I really want to define the tracks a little bit more. Um, I'm going to add a white key line and I'm just going to move it the stroke to the outside um, I'm going to expand that white uh, white key line so you can see now it gives me the the, the areas um, and then I want the white to be subtracted from the the, the black vertical sleepers so I, I just do a quick divide um, I'll just jump in there and and get rid of I actually I can lock all that um, black down there's a couple of different ways but you know I just um, think you know this is the quickest for me you can see that you know it's all in segments but let's go and join that up uh, with the shape builder tool I just click and drag connect all that or you can just connect with the Pathfinder so two ways of going about that. So at the moment, uh, I've got that panel. Um, so let's open up all well, that segment. Um, so let's open up uh, brushes. You can see it, it sits here. And what we'll do is click and drag it um, as a pattern brush. Okay, so you can see that um, we can put in a name so I'm just going to put train tracks um, scale is, is fine to leave it um, by default and just see what happens so you know do we want to stretch to fit um, do we want it to um, you know add a space to fit um, where you know to be able to manage those uh, corners so you know you can come in um, into these um, and change them later. So I'm just going to go OK um, because I want to test it out. So if I draw a line or any line and, and then apply that, you can see, um, let me get rid of the fill, you can see that it, it it's constructed it. Right? So whether it's a, um, let's get a square, uh, let's get another shape here, an ellipse or a circle and we apply the brush, it's going to give us um, these shapes. So you can see it's created an interesting pattern, but you know, if I enlarge that, because I actually have um, scale as well, so let's just go back down and then just double click on scale and not um, scale the effects. So let's see what happens there. You can sort of see that the train tracks remain how I want them. I can actually change this stroke weight, so it'll do that. So if we want to go back, we just double click on the brushes, the new brush, which is the train track, and we can adjust all these. Um, you know, can we see what it does by if we adjust these um, auto centered? Um, but let's leave it auto sliced for now, and let's draw. Um, something that's a bit harder. Um, so let's um, let's just get a uh, the curve tool, and we'll just right uh, and apply that, and and let's just have a bit of a 
an experiment with double clicking on the brush and let's see what happens here auto overlap uh, no nope. um, cornering spacing do we do let's see so that's spacing between the segments but we don't want any um, do we want auto spacing to stretch or stretch to fit approximate you can sort of see it, uh, it's, mo it's moving that so we want to keep it as a black um, at this point because I'm going to outline it or expand it and then color it as I need it um, so let's have a look um, so that's none so I'm assuming um, I'm assuming oh there you go so it's, it's changed something in the corners so if we want to change it to auto go okay apply you can sort of see uh, on the straight uh, on the 90 degrees um, I wonder if if we bring that in so that creates another interesting shape so you know if we're going to get to what I illustrated before the infographic um, you know I will probably create uh, multiple uh, shapes I'll go to the scissor tool and, and I'll just split that away so and I'll apply the brush to that segment and I can scale what I think is a, a, a decent sort of number of um, track um, sleepers going along the track I can duplicate that um, marry them up create a, a, se a semicircle um, I can keep on building the segments how I like so but you know you'll need to try and marry them up and this is where it's sort of sometimes you know it's a bit of a trial and error to try and get that segment right right it may not work but you may decide that you know I'm going to move that together there um, get my open uh, arrow tool select that average both points and join and see what happens so and it does a nice smooth uh, line so we're um, uh, going to then expand these and and you'll see that they're all expanded and they're segments and they are free so then I can go in and color them whichever way I like and you can see up here I've got um, the original so this is all you know trying to manually create the looping of the tracks and, and whatnot so um, it means that we can do all sorts of things with brush strokes um, and apply any pattern to it that we like um, so yeah it um, is a really powerful tool um, and uh, I've enjoyed using it uh, to create the infographic for a client and I thought I'd share it today so I hope you liked the the uh, short tutorial um, as usual like and subscribe to help me grow the channel and um, let me know how you go um, until next time so just as a, a bit of a bonus um, I thought that let's just uh, type a word track or tracks choose my uh, favorite font my current favorite font let's go black um, outline them and apply the brush um, so let's see what that looks like let's just un clear the fill and we'll just put oops really fine so you know you can have a bit of fun with that um, but yeah anyway just uh, thought I'd share that see you later <laughs>